Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee with Me and Jesus. Today, I want to uh, read out of a really simplified version of the Bible, and I want to encourage all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Just one second. My throat has been dry today. It is such a blessing to be alive. Amen. Despite all the turmoil and everything that's going on in this world, thank God we have a God. Amen. And I wanted to encourage my brothers and sisters. And I really want to get into, I just want to get into this praise and this worship of our Lord. And I want to encourage those of you who are out there and who are doing the best that you can. Because sometimes we are the the worst critics of ourselves. We set our sights so high that we can't even reach them. And I believe that's why God sent Jesus is sometimes there's so many rules and rules and rules that it's like I can't even reach that level. So I'm just going to give up and not worry about anything. And that was not ever God's intention because in the beginning, God just made the Ten Commandments. But we add to, add to, add to, add to. But it's really simple, like I said the other day. All we have to do is do what is right. And I want to speak on that a little bit today. And it, where we're at, and like I said, this is called the Good News Bible. And I like to refer to this a lot. I love the King James, but sometimes I like to just come on down to this book. I've had it forever. The pages are... <laughs> There, and I I've, I've check it with the King James to make sure that it is right on. So I do that when I look at other translations. But I want us to go into Colossians. Colossians 3.12. And I'm going to read it out of this uh, version here. You are the people of God. He loved you and chose you for his own. So then you must clothe yourselves with compassion kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Be tolerant with one another and forgive one another whenever any one of you has a complaint against each other. You must forgive one another just as the Lord has forgiven you. And to all these qualities add love, which binds all things together in perfect unity. The peace that Christ gives is to guide you in the decisions you make. For it is to this peace that God has called you together in one body. And be thankful. Christ's message in all its richness must live in your hearts. Teach and instruct one another with all wisdom. Sing psalms hymns and sacred songs sing to god with thanksgiving in your hearts everything you do or say then should be done in the name of the lord jesus of you as you give thanks through him to god the father amen and you know there's i wanted to encourage because i know i have a lot of followers that are they're good people they're good people and i want to commend them and tell them keep up the good work God's eye is upon you if his eye is upon the sparrow surely his eye is upon us and he cares about us and he's well pleased that we in this world honestly it is a difficult thing to be this kind of person in this world because in this world we live today and we all know it it is very difficult. There is so much anger and hate and bitterness and people are just, ah, and you get in the, uh, you try to put, clothe yourself according to what the word of God says. Example, you try to clothe yourself in love, which sums it all up, and in peace and humility and kindness. You want to be a humble person. You go into the grocery store 
you're looking, at, and this is me, I'll, I'll be looking at something, just kind of want to take my time and look, but we're in such a fast paced world that you got to be moving all the time and you better know what you what you need in the grocery store because people do not have patience and they sigh and they give you dirty looks if you're taking too long to look at the products that's the kind of world we live in and you know you're you go in there with peace you go in there with love and then you have to deal with an attitude now that's our test is the attitudes and it's very very easy to just turn and give back what people give you. But we try to pull back and the Holy Spirit, he reminds us and we ourselves know, okay, I'm not going to get affected here by this person. I'm just going to continue on, smile and go on. But sometimes we fail that test because it's, it's so the darkness, the word of God said, gross darkness. That means a lot of darkness is upon the earth. It's very hard to find people who are loving and kind and like-minded. It's, it's difficult today. So when you find someone like that, you hold on to them. And that's an encouraging word. And you know, those, those ones that are like that, guess what? One day they're going to, they have a bad day and they kind of pour their stuff out on you. And it's an easy thing again to want to give back what they're giving, but let's be faithful friends and tolerant. Like the word says, tolerant of, a, of one another, patient, loving, um, having all humility. Let's, let's continue on. And I know that there are people that watch me and live that lifestyle and they're hungry. That's why they, they tune in because they, they want to perfect and be the very apple of God's eye. We want to be pleasing to him. And I just want to encourage you that, um, keep moving in that direction. Keep doing what is right despite all that you're surrounded with. And God loves when he looks down and he sees his people when they're faced with adversities like that, when they're faced with someone with a really ugly attitude and we rise up above because we know our Father's watching us and because we've been instructed and we've been taught how to be good people. Now, many of us, um, I hear many testimonies of, of people that are so thankful for their mother because their mother was gentle and taught them the right and the wrong. And so they learned from a young age how to do that. And praise God for all the mothers. And you young mothers continue to pursue in that. And grandmothers, pour out that, that love to your grandkids because today these young mothers are, are faced with a lot of pressures. Everyone is faced with pressures. But be encouraged because I, I just wanted to encourage the body today to keep up the good work and what an apparel, huh? Go fight the fight <laughs> and run your race well because at the end of our day, all we truly want is for our father to say well done good and faithful servant see when our kids are or someone we know and love and we may not know we see their perseverance they they continue to press on and press on and do what's right of course you're happy with them you don't look and say well you didn't cross the finish line or you came in fourth fifth or sixth no you admire them for the work that they, they their perseverance and their drive and their striving and that's the way God is with us. He is, he admires us because we are pressing forward to do what is right and is, and is pleasing, not for the show of men, but just because we're thankful within ourselves. So today I, I want you to sing, sing a song like it's, it ended here um, in Colossians, teach and instruct one another with all wisdom, sing psalms, and sacred song. Sing, sing to God with thanksgiving in your hearts. Women, men, those old songs that your grandma or your mom would sing to you, um, sing those. Sing a little chorus here or there about that, you know, because that that stirs up a memory and a, and a genuine love because you only, you, you remember that your mom or your grandma or your father or someone dear taught you those songs and taught you the love, the, the love of God through a song. 
And that's my encouragement to you. Even that old song, Oh, How I Love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. You know, even if you only know a few of the words, because that's me, I can never remember a song from the beginning to the end. But I remember the little choruses. And then it stirs that new love. See, in the in Revelations, the uh, Word of God, the very last book, it says, I, he, when he's talking to the churches, I have this one thing against you. You've lost your first love. So today I want you to be stirred with your first love. Remember those songs of old when you first met the Lord. And even if you can, you know, turn it, tune into a song today that may spark that love again. Well, that's my message today for you for this Friday. And um, ladies, uh, the Weeping Women's Conference, let's uh, get stirred about that. Amen. Again, that's why I say, you know, being around like-minded people, we're going to gather and you're not coming to see me or any other speaker. I remind you, you're coming to see the Lord. You're coming to get that stirred up in you. God has something special for you. You are special to him, and he has something special waiting for you. Many gifts. I just keep seeing presents. When I went to the room there, I thought, well, they haven't even taken the Christmas tree down out of the conference room. And the Lord just kind of pricked in my spirit. I have many gifts for these women that are coming. Many, many gifts. So ladies, come prepared to receive. God is a loving God and he wants to reward you. He wants to give you something special. So be blessed this Friday and uh, I will talk to you soon. God bless you everyone. Bye-bye.